Hey, what's up Street Talks, it's Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. So I just wanted to do a quick video with you just sharing some thoughts about minimum viable X, Y, and Z. So the basic notion is this. I think in modern day times, we strive to maximize our stuff. So for example, you want the best iPhone and even though, you know, whatever technology you want might only be one to 2% better, we spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars to optimize and make things better. But what if the opposite were true in which perhaps we should strive to minimize complexity in our life and try to simplify things and not strive for the best, but the minimum viable X, Y, and Z. So for example, uh, with clothing, I essentially wear all black everything and inspired partly by Steve Jobs, but also just like practicality wise that I don't like to wake up and think about what I'm gonna wear today, so I just wear the same all black thing. Uh, black merino wool shirt, um, outlier.nyc. It's probably the best black merino wool shirt out there. You could also get it on Amazon. Shout out to my buddy uh, Kevin for giving it for my birthday. And there's so many different ways you could apply like MVP, and it's, it's, it's a notion that comes from Silicon Valley. Minimal viable product means it doesn't have to be the best thing, but it just has to work. And uh, different ways you could uh, apply this, let's say you're making a YouTube video or you're writing a blog post. Don't focus on getting it perfect, just my philosophy is get it 80% good enough and just hit publish and share. And I've also started to realize too is that everyone has a different presentation style and everyone has a different talking style and so much of these nerds out there are just trying to get you to talk a certain way, to think a certain way, to act a certain way. And even for myself as a Californian, I say like every other second and I don't even notice, but it's essentially it's just the way that we talk and a lot of speech coaches and stuff try to get you to not say like and da 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 but if it's just part of how you naturally speak just let it let it be sometimes trying to speak unnaturally the correct way is going to be a, a huge impediment to your thinking and your acting and so Different ways you could also apply the minimum viable philosophy is, uh, for example, living quarters. So with your apartment, don't strive for like the best apartment and the best building, the best neighborhood and so big and all the best appliances. Think about what's the minimum viable living situation I could get. So for example, strive to make it as small as possible while still being able to live. So for example, uh, me and Cindy, we live in this luxury studio apartment right now, and it's small. It's like, what, 300, 350 square feet? Super small. But it's funny because after we lived in Japan and Kyoto, Osaka, and Tokyo, where t apartments are super duper tiny, this place actually feels like extravagantly big. So just kind of realizing that however big or small things are, it's just, um, it's totally up to comparison. But the, the benefit of having a smaller apartment is I know where all my stuff is. I'm less uh, likely to accumulate stuff because we don't have as much space. And also it just, uh, it just, life is actually just like way better. And, you know, we live in a better location. Even this, uh, this apartment we have, it has like a gym on the second floor, which is super duper convenient. And essentially it inspires me to go out and just kind of explore more and do more. And uh, my philosophy too, even if you want to start your own YouTube channel or start making videos, blogs, whatever it may be, What's more important than how well edited or whatever it is, it's more of just like the content of your idea, the substance of the idea, just taking just one idea, extrapolate it, and talk about ideas and things which are personally interesting to you. So for example, this idea of minimum viable philosophy or MV something, if you're trying to create a startup, don't try to make it super duper snazzy and perfect. Just try to make it good enough and just put it live. And even when it comes to going to the gym, don't worry about so much of the perfect workout. Just go do some deadlift, squats, bench press, just kind of keep it simple. So minimum viable philosophy is essentially a bridge between simplicity, minimalism, practicality, just getting stuff done and overcoming paralysis by analysis because often too much of trying to get everything perfect is uh, detrimental. So for example, even this video I'm shooting, I'm shooting with this with a Lumix G9, the Leica 12 millimeter 1.4 lens, which is like a roughly a 24 millimeter equivalent. I got a Rode video mic on top and I'm just shooting this in IE mode, which is intelligent auto mode. I don't know none of this, you know, video 
shutter speed over something, manual modes. And I've actually found that just shooting auto mode is just so much simpler when you're doing videos because it's just one less thing you have to worry about. And you could just shoot these videos and just let your ideas flow like a, a stream of consciousness. And even one of the biggest benefits of the mic actually isn't necessarily because the audio quality is better, but it's the fact that, you know, I could go outside, I could go to any sort of uh, situation. So example, like even if I'm in this rooftop terrace, it cuts the audio noise pretty well and allows me to just kind of move more freely and just talk regardless of what situation I'm in at. So it just kind of offers a little bit more flexibility in terms of, you know, streaming your ideas and streaming your thoughts. So once again, taking this idea of minimum viable, whatever, go to the gym, do the minimum viable workout. When it comes to writing, just get the idea out there, minimum viable blog posts and just hit publish. And even with your car, don't think about getting like the biggest, most perfect car the smallest car suitable for your own personal needs um, with anything with your diet, fitness, exercise, whatever it may be. Just keep it simple, try to keep it minimal, and rather trying to add, think about what you could subtract to your life. So even uh, other ways you could apply this to life philosophy is don't think about ways how you could make your life better and happier. Just think about the things which stress you out, the things that annoy you or the things that make you feel depressed or anxious, or whatever. Try to subtract the stuff from your life that kind of distracts from you. So for example, uh, more and more, try not to look at the phone, uh, try not to look at uh, email, social media, news, magazines, and stuff like that, because every time you kind of get those like foreign external stimuli, and it tends to make me feel a little bit anxious or like distracts me, and I don't, I don't really like it. And so by cutting out these superfluous things from my life, I'm mu I feel much happier as a consequence uh, when in doubt move a lot more and stuff like that so anyways it's uh yeah I'm, I'm feeling really happy currently here in Providence Rhode Island loving it it's actually not that cold even though I'm a Californian life's good uh, things are good and yeah I just hopefully I, I plan on doing more of these kind of videos to share some uh, ideas with you which I hope could um, could you know hair help you on some sort of small account and just kind of know that Probably, I think this is just like my basic uh, philosophy I've been thinking about life is, I think we're happiest when we're creating, when we're thinking, we're being active, we're doing things, lifting weights, running around, dancing, singing, and doing all this kind of nonsensical stuff. So simple things you could do to be happier in your life, start your own YouTube channel, do blog, vlogs on your phone, your digital camera, whatever it may be, uh, go out and shoot some more pictures, Share them on your own website and blog. I feel like this is the ultimate thing. Uh, delete your Instagram. Start using rsbeta.com instead. Get real feedback. Share real feedback. And yeah, just uh, treat every day like it's your last and strive to maximize the best every day. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.